Space Shuttle Atlantis. I mean, how impressive is that? So it's a very blowy Merritt Island because I brought you to Kennedy Space Center. Probably my fifth time I've been here because I'm really interested in space exploration. Although we live in a post-materialistic universe. <laughs> Get that one right. Get that one right. So let's uh, take you around and uh, show you the day's proceedings. Let's go. We're just in Rocket Gardens. It's very, very windy here, but I've got the wind muff off my dead cat on, so hopefully you can hear me okay. It is very windy, um, but hey, we're on the coast, so why not? So, yeah. I do like Rocket Gardens. It's amazing. I've always been fascinated by space travel um, and uh, the exploration of the space, which obviously eventually we're really going to have to look at because this world will become overcrowded, resources will go. But we're pretty resourceful species. I'm actually very optimistic about the future. We're like squabbling teenagers at the moment. There's a chap over there vlogging as well on his camera. <laughs> it's not just me doing it. Nature and technology, it's all about the land around Cape Canaveral from the earliest times. Archaeology has uh, preceded the wildlife that lives here. Going to the new exhibition, the Heroes, the Astronaut Heroes uh, exhibition. Heroes and Legends 3D uh, animation was fantastic. Really, really good. I'm not a big 3D person, but really interesting and really well put together. So let's have a little look. That's it. Oh, Amazing Stories. Some of the comic book geeks. Do you remember Amazing Stories? Hall of Fame, fantastic. Heroes and Legends is a really good exhibition. I really uh, recommend it when you come in. It's very new. I have seen it before, so uh, yeah, very cool. Moving on. Head over to uh, the Atlantis shuttle before it gets too busy because that's always, always, always busy. There's usually crowds and crowds of people here. Is on the right way? Yes, it's that way I remember now. <laughs> Six minutes till we can go back in and then uh, I'll show the Atlantis.
Space Shuttle Atlantis. I mean, how impressive is that? Every time I've seen this reveal, probably about four, four times now, it's still impressive. Amazing. Just piloting your shuttle, you know, as you do. Check out the mad engines, man. Look at that. Crazy big. I love this place. I love all this, all the uh, space mission logos. <laughs> okay, we're going down the reddest corridor lighting I've ever seen. Fantastic fellow, I've never heard of Star Trek. Yeah, underneath the shuttle. Yeah, can you see it? I'm not doing the uh, shuttle simulator ride. I did it a couple of years ago. It's intense. I'm not really into rides, but it actually was very interesting. I don't feel the need to do it again. Okay, that was great fun seeing the shuttle. What we're going to do now is head over to the Saturn V hangar. That's always impressive. One thing I have to say, the, demos, the uh, visual demonstrations are really, really good, but the sound quality is dreadful. It's so tinny and echoey. I don't know why people can't fix that. It's hard to hear what they're actually saying, and I want to know. So, anyway, let's go over to uh, the Saturn V hangar, the little coach trip. Coach trip. And right up against the building, you will see three mouse holes. Those are people doors. Okay, I'm not doing all the presentation of the Saturn V and the rocket launch, I've done it so many times. It's very, very good, but I can't really be able to, to hang around. So I'm gonna go straight into the gift shop and go through into the Saturn V hangar. Okay, do you wanna be impressed with something? Saturn V. This is the largest vehicle ever assembled to fly. Amazing. This covers the entire hall here at the Saturn V hangar. Okay, I'm going to grab something to eat. I have been fasting all day. I might be on holiday, but I'm still doing the fasting because it's just a lifestyle choice. But I'm going to get some lunch. I'm getting a bit peckish. I've literally just been talking to my friend Sarah <laughs> in chat. You know, she loved this place. She said how cold it was in here, though. I think there's a reason for that, apart from um, keeping everybody cool from the outside heat. I think it's also um, to preserve some of the uh, equipment. So, Just come outside, it's a bit blowy, so do excuse my hair goes completely mental. We were very lucky when we did the uh, USA road trip from New York down to Miami, 
2015 we were lucky enough to come here and there was a rocket launch game on which I'll show you a clip from now. This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have RD 180 ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance SPC 5 payload with the Atlas V launch vehicle. Good. 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 TB is now supersonic. Passing through max Q. Vehicle disturbances continue to be as expected. We have throttled down to 95% of rate of thrust right on time. I mean, it was an unmanned probe, but it was so loud. We were back here watching on this fence here. Uh, and it was launched from uh, launch pad 39B, sorry, 39A, which is in the distance. Oh, that's amazing nature reserve as well so danger alligators and snakes in the area stay away from the water do not feed the wildlife no I won't what's in here I don't know what's the, uh... oh. This used to be the, uh, the van we took them out to the launch pad. I think it used to be down the other end, but now we've moved up here. I know there's serious work being done here, but I love it for the kid who's suddenly here. Hey, do you want to have a picture that makes you look like you're in space? It's amazing how the work being done to take us thousands of miles into space. Just watched the uh, IMAX movie, Journey into Space, narrated by Sir Patrick Stewart. So it's going to go up to the um, memorial plaque. Yeah, this is the Astronauts Memorial Foundation. All the people who've um, lost their life uh, contributing to the conquest of space. Whenever mankind has sought to conquer new frontiers, there have been those who have given their lives for the cause. This astronaut's memorial, dedicated May the 9th, 1991, is a tribute to American men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice, believing the conquest of space is worth the risk of life. presentation in a couple of minutes so I might uh, stay and watch that. It's not just about cool rockets and high-tech gadgets, it's about people and it's one of the great adventures of all time. Welcome to Explorers Wanted. Here, you can see what's happening at NASA today and get a feel for what it takes to have a career in space exploration. So we can find in the shop. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little trip to Kennedy Space Center, part of our Florida trip in 2019. It's been fascinating, my fifth time back here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for all the comments when I went did the little live, which lasted about two seconds. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, please leave some comments below. 
like, subscribe, and keep watching this series. There's more to come from sunny Florida. Well, that's actually cloudy Florida at the moment. And we'll see you next time. Be seeing you.